am Kapitän Basch. Min Kunstliga Stimm la Kunstulhane Amerika la Hauler uh, Bacherbe. As we watch the situation in Afghanistan, I, I recognize that people are concerned about the United States presence uh, in Iraq and in the Kurdistan region. Many have asked, will the United States stay in Iraq? and the Kurdistan region, or will it leave? So please allow me this opportunity to answer this question clearly. And the United States is staying in Iraq, including the Kurdistan region. We are on this journey with you for the long haul. The situation in Iraq is different from Afghanistan. In the United States, we say you can't compare apples to oranges. It's like they say in Kurdish, the difference is Asman or Resman. Each bilateral relationship is unique, and each country does what's best in its, its own interests, and it's in the best interests of the United States and Iraq to continue our strategic partnership. The words of the President of the United States matter, and President Biden has been very direct and very clear on multiple occasions. During his meeting with President Kadimi in July, the President said clearly that Iraq's stability is central to the stability of the Middle East. President Biden understands the importance of Iraq and the Kurdistan region. And President Biden understands the importance of the United States to Iraq and the Kurdistan region. President Biden understands that the security of the Middle East is the security of Iraq. What will happen at the end of this year is an end to any combat role for United States forces. And that's the only thing that's ending. The United States has already begun the transition out of this combat role, and the remaining United States troops, which are in Iraq at the invitation of the Iraqi government, will continue to be part of the international coalition, but they will advise and they will assist the Iraqi security forces and the Peshmerga. Nobody 
wants to see a resurgent ISIS. The fight against ISIS is not yet complete, and we remain committed to the enduring defeat of ISIS. President Biden has said that the United States is committed to strengthening the partnership with Iraq, including the Kurdistan region. And that's because the United States wants to see a strong, united, resilient, and sovereign Iraqi state. The United States has a long-term commitment to this region, and we will remain a reliable partner for Iraq and the Kurdistan region. And with that, I, I would be happy to take, take a few questions. My question is about the upcoming election in Iraq. The argument that this election uh, somehow is influenced by the Iranian and by the Americans. So how do you see the election in Iraq? I mean, as a matter of policy, the United States does not support any individual candidate, and we do not support any individual party. However, the United States does support the Iraqi government's effort to hold free, credible, and fair uh, parliamentary elections. The United States supports the electoral process, and we hope that Iraqis um, will exercise their right to freely choose uh, their representatives at the ballot box. I'd also say that political parties are, are obliged to respect the rules and regulations established by Iraqi law and uh, the independent high electoral commission's regulations. And the eyes of the world will be on Iraq for this election. The United States and Iraq's delegations at the recent strategic dialogue in Washington discussed this matter extensively. We agreed that the, the presence of both United States assistance mission for Iraq monitoring teams and European Union observation teams represented a, a strong effort by the international community to support the uh, Iraqi people's calls for a free and fair election. And we hope that this international presence monitoring the election combined with other measures that are being taken by the, the government of Iraq, that they're going to help create the conditions for the Iraqi people to, to go out and vote confidently and safely.
هیواداری ام روشنانه که لیوان کمالگین و دولتی و آبوزه و درکی نیاز داره که انجام تبر و هر و هاوشانه گل هلا کنه که مدیر آقی به نمایی آرمتی دان و دوستی دو خیکی کنجا و لبر با هلا تنی آقی با وی با شوازه کی مطمئن با خوبو و سر بستانه بس ندره و بازار من دنگان و لپروسیسیاسی. The United States has supported these international bodies uh, significantly with funding um, to, to help ensure their success. The Iraqi people want a, um, a parliament and a government that reflects the diversity of this country and that advances the interests of Iraq and the Iraqi people. And for the Kurdistan region, we, we believe that um, it continues to play a very special role. I'd be happy to take another question. Thanks for your explanation. You explained very well that the United States is going to stay in Iraq and Kurdistan region, but in case if one day you decided to withdraw from Iraq, are you going to deal with Iraq and Kurdistan region in the same way? In the same way? Uh, if you decide to withdraw from Iraq, are you going to withdraw from Kurdistan region as well? Or is it going to be different policy? That seems like a very hypothetical question, I would say. Um, we're committed to the long-term uh, relationship with the government of Iraq and the Kurdistan region. But I will say, I, I also believe more than ever that the relationship between Americans and the people of this Kurdistan region uh, will endure. Our friendship has been forged uh, over decades and it will endure. I clearly remember the first day of the presidency of Mr. President of Mr. President Biden that has been elected as the President of the United States, and uh, it was a very optimistic atmosphere among the people of Kurdistan region. They believe that uh, President Biden is a very uh, close friend of uh, people of Kurdistan region. But after uh, a period of uh, his presidency, the people of Kurdistan region. Uh, has been, uh, we felt that this friendship is kind of, uh, you know, not strong as before. Uh, is there a gap between the uh, Kurdistan region and the United States, specifically in the political relations? And uh, it, uh, are the, 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 the uh, policies has been, have been changed uh, in front of Kurdistan region? And uh, is, is there a plan or schedule for uh, officials of the United States that visit Kurdistan region in the future. The short answer to your question, uh, is there a change in policy or anything like that? Uh, no, there's none. President Biden is a president that has uh, uh, a great understanding 
um, and friendships with the leadership here in the Kurdistan region. The United States is staying um, in the Kurd Iraqi Kurdistan region and we are on this journey uh, for the long haul. President Biden has been very clear that he's committed to enhancing the partnership. And, and I believe, frankly, more than ever now, um, the special bond that exists between Americans and the people of the Kurdistan region, that will endure. I guess I would say first, in response to your question, is the United States is, is very proud of what the Peshmerga and the Iraqi security forces have accomplished and the fact that they're, they're highly capable in the fight um, against ISIS remnants. In regards to the United States support for the Peshmerga, um, that's something that will continue. The United States is supporting the Peshmerga with training, equipment, and resources. The United States has uh, assisted our Kurdish partners in continuing to reform the Peshmerga and we have provided over $250 million in security assistance in recent years. And as a result, the, the, the courageous Peshmerga that helped to repel ISIS are now in a better position to secure the region for generations.
کنفرانسی روزنامه‌ای روبرتو پالادینو کنسلی گشتی آمریکا یا هاوکارم گلباخ لگلتان دبی گلباخ. زور سپاس کار کنفرانس کیست؟ الله هولی رو بر دوام دی بینین. تاو کوچی زی کش مگه گفت تو تبد معنی وای هری میکرد سر به استرو یا گفت تو تبد. And that means a better Iraq. و با من شو معنی عراقی با فیض you said that the United States will end this combat role in Iraq by the end of this year. Don't you think ISIS will be more active after you end your combat role in, in Iraq, especially in the disputed territories where ISIS is somehow active? Absolutely, ISIS will remain active, and that's exactly why um, the United States, the international coalition, and our Iraqi partners um, are committed to ensuring the enduring defeat of, of the ISIS. <laughs> We all recognize that ISIS remains dangerous. Um, you know, here in the, the Kurdistan region, not, not a week goes by where we don't read about something in the papers. Um, not a week goes by where we don't read of some vicious, cowardly attack on the electricity infrastructure uh, the, in order to deprive Iraqi citizens of electricity, leaving them uh, to suffer during the hot summer months. And we, we, we read constantly of these, these fake ISIS roadblocks that are used to assassinate or kidnap or extort local citizens. Everybody understands the, the continued need for cooperation to end the threat of ISIS. The, the Iraqi government understands the threats and is committed to working with the international community uh, to provide stability and security for its people. And, and the United States is committed and willing um, to help wherever needed. Um, uh, from Kate Wynn for the questions about the Sinjar Agreement. What the United States would do to fully implement Sinjar Agreement between the KRG and GOI? Yeah. Um, we still believe that the Sinjar Agreement is the, the best way forward um, to resolve the situation in Sinjar. We think that a, a durable um, agreement between the Iraqi government and the, the Kurdistan regional government with input from local communities is ultimately the best way to resolve uh, the situation in Sinjar. The United States is disappointed that on some key issues, such as security, 
and administration, we still have a long way to go. Unfortunately, the, the Iran-aligned militia in Sinjar has refused to abide by the instructions of the Iraqi government. And this element continues to defy Iraqi authority. The PKK, which is present in the area and cooperates with the PMF, makes the situation even more volatile and unstable. We urge both the PKK and the PMF to withdraw fully from Sinjar so that the Sinjar agreement can be implemented. We hope to see a local security force put in place soon. We also hope, we also see, hope to see soon joint brigades of Iraqi security forces and, and Peshmerga. The, these forces are necessary in order to create the conditions for internally displaced persons to return. And that on, on that last question, I, th I think that'll be the last question we take uh, for today. Um, but I do want to say that I, I'm speaking to all of you today uh, because the United States very much values freedom of the press. And I, I pledge to you today, um, if you're willing to come, I'm going to invite you to come back here regularly. And we're doing that because the United States supports you and the work that you're doing and freedom of the press. Thank you very much.